All right, let's do this. I am 96 plat. Okay, don't doubt I'm 96 plat. I'm almost there in, in, in getting into into diamond. Okay, that's what I that's what I'm shooting for right now with the ranger. I need to get back into diamond. I need I need to make the right choices here. So right off the back, we got a banana and we got a garlic. I'm gonna buy both of those for the combination. We're also gonna get the herb since it's on sale. I don't want another uh, sword. What I would love to get is a shovel so we can try shooting for that or we can go for a falcon blade or a hero sword since we got a whetstone here or maybe just stick with the hero sword honestly um that is also an option we have i'm gonna get the broom though just so i can combine the broom with the sword which i think is better than just whetstone sword um and then we can put the food down with a little bit of herbs and put the luck in there as well we can reserve this getting a second banana might not be too bad but i don't have space and i don't want to get it right now once i get space if i see it later on i'll probably get it but um i'm just gonna rock for this so far so this guy's got the sword with the double stone he's also got double banana on him we are definitely gonna be able to out dps him but he may be able to out heal us we do have the regeneration on our side um let's see how this goes it seems like yeah, it seems like i was right we're doing more dps than he is but we do have our stamina we have to worry about luckily we have a banana to help us out a little bit but uh his dps just wasn't there oh we got an early box of riches which is really solid we need space though that's our main thing right now we need space i'm gonna get the early box of riches because i feel like that's gonna be really really good we could unreserve the whetstone and i kind of do want the wooden buckler as well just so i can get a spike show which i think is good early um but I'm not really sure. We can we can roll here just because I want another whetstone to turn into a hero sword. We did get our pan, which is good. And we got ourselves the fanny pack, so I'll stick with that. And we did get the thorns for the spike shield. But this is just too many items. I don't want to keep too many items on me, but also I want to get the items that are necessary. We got two gold left over. I'm just going to start it here. And we will be able to buy all of that and do the combination for the, um, for the shovel next round. Um, this dude's got the hero sword, double stone with the wet stone. Good DPS right off the back, but now he can't use his stones. Our healing's gonna probably take kick in, and uh, we're gonna be able to take this one home. Nice little W number two. We also got ourselves a spear, which is pretty interesting. We could rock spear plus the shovel instead of trying to get the hero sword, uh, since we already need one more wet stone to get the hero sword. So that might be a play, honestly, and I think we're gonna go with that instead um and we also got ourselves a health potion which is really good so let's go ahead and sell you let's get the let's get the shovel um just so you know because we we kind of just want the shovel <laughs> um and we, let's get the fanny pack um i need to fit as many things as possible in here i think next round is just going to be a throwaway round just because we have to combine this anyways and usually during combinations you're not going to have enough stamina because you got too many weapons on the field to even keep up um we could just rock that anywhere i'm going to buy the actually you know what let's um let's do this actually get the health potion in there and we might win because of the health potion you never know you know what i mean health potion is pretty solid early on so we might win because of the health potion let's go ahead and start this um let's see if we win actually oh this dude's got the hero sword double stone i see a lot of people rocking a hero sword plus that's the third dude i've seen rocking hero sword plus double stones i've never rocked it before this is my first time seeing it um but it doesn't seem too bad i mean plus two damage on both of those you get the dude down really early on unless you miss like that dude did um but i mean you get your health down pretty early on if you could just keep up with that you should be solid but we're probably gonna lose this nice little throwaway round dude's got healing on him and everything so yeah <clears throat> But we did get our shovel, which is really, really nice. Let's go ahead and buy the spear as well. And then we got that second whetstone. So we had options there. Um, the only thing we're lacking on right now is really just space, to be honest. I want to use this guy with the spear along with the shovel. So let's put both of those down. We could put our gym box there. Not only do we need space like crazy right now. So I could buy the flawless emerald since it's on sale, which I'll do. It's only one gold. Let's roll here for some space. Got the space and we did get a healing herb that's on sale, which is really nice. Um, let's put all of our items down. We could also go for another banana right here, which would be nice as well. Um, the only thing is we still need a lot more space than what we have right now. Um, but I do want the healing herb. I say we buy the healing herb just because I want to. And we can just rock the health potion there, put our healing herbs down. And then with her lucky clover, the only other option we had was probably to sell a gem, get the banana. But then we wouldn't be able to have that uh, for regeneration with the lucky clover. And we would just have to heal for four and regenerate one stamina, which isn't bad per se. 
still pretty solid um i'm gonna get the flute it's on sale and we'll get another lucky clover maybe we can get ourselves the um <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe we can get ourselves the bone arrow. We're going against a reaper this time, which is a little bit interesting. Dude's got the shovel. He's getting himself another shovel um, and a bunch of food. This is a pretty decent build that he's got going on here. The only thing we got to worry about is poison. We don't have anything that can combat poison. Um, I mean, we do have our health potion for the cleanse, but that's really about it. We do out DPS him, but if that poison racks up before we can kill him, um, we might just lose this one. But it seems like we're doing pretty solid so far. Yeah, we should we should take this one home, especially with our health potion if we needed to use it there. Nice little W. I'll take that. Thank you. We did get a thorn rub for the blood thorn, which would be really handy in this build. I just I don't like buying this unless I already have the blood thorn. That's just a pet peeve of mine because I don't like using it. It takes up way too many slots and it's eight gold. So usually if I do buy, it, I just keep it in my storage until I get a blood thorn. But um, we're really low in space right now and money. And I kind of got that, which is good. We also got ourselves another lucky clover here. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow Camilla. I appreciate that. <laughs> I forgot to put that as the um, as my little follow alert. I forgot about that. <laughs> this shit's hilarious. Um, but yeah, we're going to buy this. It's on sale. And I'm also going to buy the other clover, even though we got a clover down here. Um, you can never have too many clovers. So I'm just going to buy that and we'll re-roll here. We did ourselves a regular emerald, which can be interesting. It's four gold, so I don't think I'm going to buy it. But I will buy the leather bag, though. How am I doing today? Pretty solid. Not too bad. I woke up nice. Ate me some blueberry waffles. I'm a little bit happy. <laughs> How about yourself? Where am I going to put this is the question. I can just do this. Yeah, that'll work. Um, it doesn't have that many things being activated on it, which is a little concerning, to be honest. But unless I rearrange this somehow and put that right there, like so, and then I could put my food up here like that, maybe like that instead. And then we can uh, fit a lucky clover in there. And then that looks way better. And then you could put a second lucky clover right there. And honestly, I don't really, I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like poison gems really help me with this, with their reaper all too much, especially what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to sell that. Um, and I'm kind of hesitant on selling that. I feel like it can help us now, but I feel like I'm going to sell it eventually. And we could just start it here. See how this goes. Okay. So this dude's got the blood thorn. He's got double uh, berries for his goober. Um, he doesn't have any regeneration to feed the hungry blade for it to do more damage. So that's a good thing for us. Um, so I feel like we might be able to out DPS in out. Well, maybe. Yeah, we definitely not going to be able to out heal. He's got double banana with the blood, uh, the goober. So we can definitely out DPS, but he's going to have that poison on us, which is going to be really bad. We just got to hope for our criticals, which is what? 20% right now. Not the best. Um, but it's working so far. We just got to worry about that poison racking up. If that poison racks up too high, we, we definitely lose this. Um, our flute is doing wonderful job right now, I believe. So really good thing we bought that. We, yeah, we're going to have to rely on fatigue here. Health potion is going to help us a little bit with that 11 poison and their health is at 13. I think we take this one home. Yep. There we go. Nice little W. Thank you. Um, so we definitely buy the leather bag. That's a no-brainer. We could also buy the customer card. It is four. Usually I like buying these when they're on sale, but uh, I feel like we're going to need some weapons here soon, like some in-game weapons here soon, which is why I'm considering the customer card. Um, but we could just put these down wherever we want them to be. And I'm actually going to put the chip ruby there instead. It's because I feel like that 10% life still is a little bit better than the 35% chance to inflict poison. We could also buy a goober. People love goobers, right? We could buy a goober. This one is also a nice little find. So we'll buy that. Um, I'm actually going to sell this. We'll buy the customer card. I'm so hesitant on buying this goober right now. I feel like the goober can help me. But I don't have slots to make use of it right now. But I feel like buying it here would probably be smart. So let's, let's, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Not even think about it. Let's just buy the goober. Um, I could have put it somewhere, but we would have risked like losing out on some form of something. We would have lost out on something, I feel. Um, we'll see here, though. I think we should take this one home. Um, 
Um, he's got the hero sword with the magic staff. He's using the blueberries for that uh, mana to use for the magic staff, but it doesn't seem like he's going to have too much um, mana generation. So we shouldn't be able to worry about that too, too much. Maybe potentially because he's going to use it right now. Boom. It hits us. Did 15 damage, which not per not too bad, but now it's just going to do his like eight to 10 and then boom. There goes the crit that we're looking for um oh he crit us for 18 that was pretty crazy considering he didn't even use mana for that one unless i was blind but i don't think he did but i think we should take this one home we got more survivability than he does um yeah nice little w there okay okay oh that's what i was looking for so now we got the ripshaw blade the question is should we get rid of the shovel or should we get rid of the spear and replace it with the ripshaw blade now i do like the shovel because it gives me items the spear is pretty nice too because it does you know more top damage than the um than the shovel does and it attacks faster than the shovel does it's a 1.5 versus that 2.2 i don't really care about the destroy shield that it gives but um i don't know just getting that free item from the shovel i think is a little bit better because i think we just got to carry it from it so i think it's a little bit better than um than the spear so we'll sell the spear let's get ourselves the ripshaw blade we'll put this on the ripshaw blade um we did get ourselves a pigeon along with another flute which i do love these items they're just so fucking expensive and right now our main concern i believe is space that's the main thing we need right now is just a bunch of space so i think that's yep boom i think that's what we're gonna go for just a bunch of space we should also probably get the cap of resilience mainly because it's on sale so i'll get that next round and we might be able might be able to figure out a way to incorporate our uh our goober here we do something like this uh damn it i was gonna put this here but i need something that's a two if i had something that was a two there i could put the flute on the other side of this uh on the other side of this guy um otherwise what i could potentially do actually is do this and then just fit a bunch of items in that area up there like the food and everything um that would also work just something like that with the, all the single items that i have so we could do like that and we could put the carrot here um this is, let me just see here if we do this we'll have what like three slots put our regeneration all right there with the lucky clovers something like this would work um likewise what we could also do is just do this and have that be separate that way we can fit more slots into this guy to make it a little bit faster only thing we're lacking on is our health potion now we won't be able to use our health potion which sucks a little bit but we do have the goober healing us for 11. so that is a thing that we have um and obviously we want the box of riches in there i mean we we could we could do this and then next round we'll just put the box of riches back and then when we roll i think we should get the gems potentially i think as long as this is like in the slot when you re-roll you get the gems but if it's out of the slot you don't get the gems i think that's how that works so then we can have our health potion we can have everything that we got in there um i think that's pretty decent so far and let's see how we do so this dude's got double shovel he's got a bunch of food on him so as far as regeneration goes and survivability he's definitely got his beat but we do have a dps on our side we should be able to out dps him mainly because of the ripshaw blade does a lot of dps 8 to 10 every 1.30 uh, one seconds which i think is pretty solid um the only thing we're lacking on is what stamina right now but we do have our flute giving us stamina along with the banana not a lot but it does help even just a little bit the only thing we got to worry about realistically is that poison which we're doing dps to him but it's uh you know they already got 10 poison on us and this dude's at what 70 health he's healing a lot oh he's also got the book of light i didn't even see that oh we might actually lose i didn't even see the book of light he's gonna have his invulnerability soon um if this keeps racking up, unless he dies first before the invulnerability can kick in due to fatigue which is definitely an option an option that i need right now considering how close our health is um come on kill him there we go there we go if that if that invulnerability would have kicked in i think we would have probably died there honestly so i'm gonna get the piercing arrow because that's always my go-to we also got ourselves a hungry blade which is a little bit interesting we could replace the shovel with the hungry blade and potentially get the blood thorn later down the line we also got double regeneration already so that could be very good for us we also got the book of light which we can use our sapphires in order to feed both of those the only problem right now is space <laughs> we need space for this um i would love to get the gloves of haste the cap of resilience we're getting all the items we need except space right now which is our main drawback so i think that's i think we definitely get the hungry blade right now and just do that 
I think that's a little bit better, especially because of regeneration. That'll help us out with our DPS a lot. And we have four health left or four gold left. I think what we do here is just farms for space. I think that's the best plan. We did get ourselves a potion belt, which will relieve a little bit of space for us for the health potion. Um, and we could also sell something to get that second health potion, which is an option that we have. Do a little bit something like this, maybe sell. Honestly, I don't even want to sell anything. We, we could sell food. That's the only thing I could uh, realistically even think about selling here is just food. But we need to we need to incorporate this. That's what we need to do. We need to incorporate this no matter what. That needs to be incorporated. That's a no brainer. Now we just got to figure out a way in order to incorporate our flute, which we could put here. I liked having it here, though, if I'm being honest. I really did like having it here. Um, but I'm not sure how we could put it back there. That's the only downside right now. Um, I mean, we could just do this with that. You know what I mean? And then put the flute here something like that and then this can still be in inside of a potion belt we won't be able to use the second potion right but at least we have like a nice little mock little setup going on here um we could put that back um the only thing we got to figure out now is our food situation which we could just say fuck the food and just say pretty much fuck the food or we could re-roll here that is an interesting re-roll We have options. We have two options in here, right? We could get rid of the Ripshaw Blade. And we could get ourselves a Bloodthorn along with getting ourselves the, uh, what do you call it again? The Fortuna's Grace, since we do have the Clovers on deck. That is a risky plan. We have the health to do it. We have four health, so we have options. Or we can keep the Ripshaw Blade, sell the Hungry Blade, and just get Fortuna's Grace, combine that with the Ripshaw Blade. That is another option that we have. And honestly, I'm not sure which option I want to go for because I feel like both of those are pretty damn good. Um, and I honestly have no clue which one to go for right now. Uh, let me see here. Let's, let's let's just compare and contrast. So the Bloodthorn would give us, you know, that damage um, or it would convert the regeneration into the uh, vampirism plus the um, plus the pierce or the spikes and then it would increase damage does so. Um, but this guy removes regeneration, removes pierce, right? So this is pretty much a bloodthorn killer, right? Use this and you're pretty much killing a bloodthorn build that you run into. Or we could just turn into a bloodthorn build, right? That is an option that we have. Plus this thing fits three slots instead of two versus the bloodthorn. So I think what we do here is probably sell the bloodthorn. I think that's what we do. I think we sell the bloodthorn um not the bloodthorn the hungry blade and then we just rock a fortuna's grace type build the only thing we're missing now is space that's our biggest thing so okay we did get a little bit of space there which is a you know which is decent um if i bring this down okay let's bring this down by one and then we can move this down by one that way how's that look that doesn't look too bad i just wanted to figure out a way to fit the garlic in there somehow maybe something like that I think would be uh, you know decent or whatever but then it's not on my goobert right and this thing increases was that like a 50 percent faster type deal so i think keeping it up there is probably a little bit better um and then just going back to what we had before i think would be the best or we could just do that right and then boom we don't get the stamina from the banana which is a little concerning but i think it'll be fine um, and then we'll just buy both of those next round and hopefully we can make something work as far as space goes. Um, and if we can, that'd be great. So this guy, whew, that's going to be a lot of poison. We might actually lose this because of the poison. Um, but this guy's got the pandemonium, which when the food activates, you also get the poison. He's got four food on him. So he's getting that poison. He also got the cursed dagger buffing his pandemonium. And then he's got the pan along with claws of attack. He's got a bunch of stuff inside of here, pretty much. That's going to give us that poison, which we already got 16 poison on us. Um, but we do have the vampirism because of the blood thorn. So right now we're winning. However, that's going to be a lot of poison. Even our health potion. Yep even when it's being used it's not going to help us that much um so really as far as survivability goes the game's over but as far as, far as survivability goes we would just have to rely on our flute realistically and our goober which i mean it worked so that's really really good um so let's go ahead and buy that and we can sell our hungry blade in order to get the stamina pack and then we can put this here um <clears throat> potentially um or honestly, let's switch it around a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking we switch this around just a tad, right? Just a tad. 
Let me see here. Because I would like it to go just like that, right? So let's move that over and then we could just move that right there. And then that goes there and our ripshaw blade will go here, right? Just like that. And then we just need a little bit of slots here for our piercing arrow to go a little bit like this, right? So that's pretty much the, the setup that I'm looking for. Um, and what we could potentially also do is move this over and put our flute here just so we can get that other uh, trigger off for the piercing arrow. But that leaves like little to no slots for our flute in order to actually trigger. Or we could turn it around like this and move everything over to the left except for the goober. The goober is only going to have two triggers. However, at least we can have some, some form of triggerage on our flute. Or we could just keep it like it is and maybe search for something else that can be used to trigger our piercing arrow. Maybe like the Book of Light or something like that. Maybe even just some generic food item. Maybe even this dagger right here that triggers every 3.5 seconds, right? But I do like the fact that our flute is kind of uh, carrying us right now. So I, I kind of want to keep it the way that it is. You know what I mean? Um, just got to figure out a way to actually put it down now, considering what just happened. We could maybe just do that and flute here. I mean, that would work, right? We're missing out on two slots, but, uh, you know, we could just bring that up by one. And now we're missing out on no slots, just like that. Boom. And then we could just, uh, boom, put the banana there, put another garlic there. Or we could just rock that just so they can get the 10% speed for themselves. And then we could just put the, uh, the box right there. Oh, uh, we could maybe just sell this health potion, honestly. Let's re-roll here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's put that there. Get that combination going. Re-roll here. Oh, we got our... Ooh. Healing is reduced. This is going to be really, really good against unhealing builds, I feel. Um, we also need to put a slot here. I'm going to just just so we can do do a little bit of combinations. That's what we'll do. Um, and we will. I really uh, you know what? Let's just sell the healing potion. I don't think it's going to help us. It's only one of them. I'm just going to sell the healing potion. Let's buy this regular amulet and hopefully we can find ourselves a shield of some sorts to use. That's on sale. So we're definitely going to be buying that. But I need a shield to use. We could combine the shield with our piercing arrow to for the for the activations, and then the twenty five percent reduced uh, health can help us with uh, unhealing builds or um, builds like this, which is a super crit build. This is like this is kind of like my build, but on steroids. If this guy could get a little bit more items, but I'll pretty much explain how this build works. Um, so you got the you got the leaf, which you gain one uh, mana plus the regeneration for each nature item, and then you just have a bunch of blueberries here which when you have 10 mana because you're gaining one mana plus per uh, nature item you already have just a shit ton of mana right and then you just have a bunch of the blueberries and then since you have at least 10 you gain one of the luck and that's why he gained so much luck right there which can really be really good for crit builds you know what i mean um but he doesn't really have you know he just has the hungry blade, I guess. But uh, that's pretty much, you know, that's how that works. And then you have a bunch of the carrots, which if you have at least five of the luck, you gain one empowerment. That's where you guys empowerment from. So he pretty much just needs a bunch of carrots and then he would just have a bunch of empowerment, which would help his, uh, which would help his weapons do a lot more DPS than they did there. And that's pretty much how that build works, right? So boom, let's get that combination going. Um, we could also combine our regular sapphires, but I think I'm just gonna keep it like that and lock it for now. Let's get that for space and um yeah what's up adrian how's it going oh we got an even better one. Oh, we got an even better one we don't really need this one anymore just because we well how many gems does the uh i don't even know how many gems that big shield even has you're the immaculate man why have i heard that before <laughs> you're always playing something different bro bro this game is the game i'm telling you bro you gotta play it you gotta play this game is the game this game is literally the game bro it's like super auto pets just on steroids i love it um Damn, I really want this guy. We could also use this on the 65% chance of removing random buff, which would help because this removes pierce and regeneration anyways. What's this one? This one's a 45% chance. Yeah, let's see. Let's buy that. Let's buy that. And then we'll reserve the purse because it's the purse. And also let's get the blood amulet just for a little bit of that. Uh, you know, I just realized I never turned this into a Fortuna's Grace. I'm dumb. I could have done that like rounds ago. I, I How were we winning still? <laughs> How were we winning with that not being a Fortuna's Grace? I've got no idea, but I'm actually surprised about that. That is insane. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. That is crazy. Wow. I'm actually happy about that. 
feel like I'm about to get it, it, just even stronger now. You got to see some gameplay? Well, here you go, bro. Here you go. You used to watch me when I was back on Wizard 101. Ah, that makes sense. No wonder I remember that man, that name, the Immaculate Man. Name is definitely very familiar. Okay, so this guy is a little bit interesting. I think he wants to turn these both of these into blood goobers. I think that's his plan. It's because he's got this one. He's already turned that one into a blood goober. But um, dude's got hungry blade with a shovel. I'm pretty sure he wants hell of vampirism. His blood, his his build isn't very complete. He needs a lot more items, but um. I can see the vision. I could definitely see the vision in his build. We should take this one home realistically, but I could definitely see the vision in his build. If he just had both of these be a blood goober, this one with the blood thorn, that would be a lot of uh that would be a lot of vampirism. And then he's also got this one to gain that um uh 25% amplified life, and then the this guy steals 25 20 20 percent more life yeah i can see his vision i can see the vision in your build my friend i could definitely see it um boom so now we got ourselves a fortuna's grace which is beautiful have i been i've been pretty solid not gonna lie i mean I, i've been i've been pretty good boom let's buy that let's buy that i found a game that i love which is this one which is great <laughs> it's hard to find these days um oh oh we have options here we have options. We could get a blood goober of ourselves, right? We could get ourselves a blood goober, or we could get the vampiric hands, which the vampiric hands gain that six vampirism, um, and the items trigger 35% faster. But the main thing we're looking for is that six vampirism, right? Because, oh, I thought we had, I thought we had a bloodthorn. Never mind. The vampirism doesn't really matter now because we don't have a bloodthorn. So instead, let's get a blood goober because that still is 10 life every six activations which will help us deal dps um the blood goober is pretty much another weapon on the field that you can use that doesn't use stamina which is good so i think that's what we'll do if we do get another blood amulet i think we should probably get that six vampirism along with the uh increased in speed because i feel like that could be good so we'll do that um i'm gonna reserve that and we'll start the next round <clears throat> i heard what happened i got banned for you got banned for the same thing really you just play playing minecraft nowadays what do you mean you got banned for the same thing what what happened to you i didn't know something happened to you what's your story <laughs> wizard 101 refugee story um so this guy's got the pananomia with a bunch of food interesting build i would be a little bit more scared if they had the vampiric armor which they are about to get i would be a little i would be a tiny bit more scared but now that we got the fortuna's grace i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to out dps the only thing we gotta worry about is all that poison that's racking up but i mean we have what like a 65 chance to crit right now all we gotta do is keep racking up that luck keep getting that crit up um and we should be taking this one home i don't think they're uh i don't think their poison is gonna be able to well they, they do got a lot of healing to just use all their health potions though yeah their poison is just not gonna be enough for us we're definitely gonna be killing this guy and boom there it is there it is let's enter that survivor mode let's see if we can take like no l's here that's the plan we got ourselves the blood goober let's actually um oh let's i'm gonna take this off and i'm gonna combine both of those toe passes just like that because i want to have i want to keep a flawless sapphire on the ripshaw blade that's my plan i want to keep a, a flawless staff fire on the ripshaw blade let's buy this i need a shield like really bad right now getting a book of light would also be really good actually just because we gain that mana through our um through our weapons so reserving that could be good we could also use the book of light instead of a shield for the piercing arrow activation which is an option that we have which i think we should probably do we could also use the cap of resilience for the reduced healing, which I think we should do. Let's do that instead. Um, which we could get this next round. Let's get the book of light next round. We'll buy the cap of resilience and we'll put it here. Um, put that on there. Now, uh, enemies are going to be having 25% reduced healing, which will help us with unhealing builds. And then we could pretty much just put these here for now um just so we could get the 10 percent faster for each item for that guy and as far as you go we can sell this buy the purse put that there just so that now this is also 20 uh 20 faster i don't think there's another spot that i would prefer to put it i'd rather just have the flute be as fast as possible the faster the flute the better bro for real 
Bro, you've been following for five years? God damn. What the hell? That's insane. All right, so this guy's got... Okay, he's got a... This is a little bit interesting. A little bit interesting. Okay. He's got the... That's got to be a lot of block, actually. He's got the Excalibur with the Shield of Valor along with the Holy Shield. He doesn't have any potions for your block, though, which is a little bit interesting. So all his block is probably just going to be generated from this guy. Fortunately, though... We got our Sapphire, the 30% 30, 30 chance to attack health directly instead of his shield. But the Excalibur is doing 18 and 19 damage right now to us. That's his only DPS, along with its increasing DPS. With the Spectral Blade, I wasn't even peeking the Spectral Blade. This is pretty close. Oh, double crit on us. That is insane. We might actually lose this one just because of that double crit. I don't think we're going to be able to. Yeah, we weren't going to be able to come back from that one. But Jesus, look at the Spectral Blade. It uses one mana to attack health directly, so our shield doesn't matter. We didn't have a shield anyways, but our shield doesn't matter. And it deals plus seven damage. So each time this thing hit, because of the mana generation that he's got going on, this did plus seven damage just from two slots, which is actually kind of insane. I might actually start using the Spectral Bait myself. And then his Excalibur was doing hella damage as well with the mana regeneration that he's got going on and everything. Wow, this is actually, that's actually pretty solid. He wasn't really using this all that much. I mean, he only had what? What's his crit chance? 20% chance to crit. He wasn't really utilizing his piercing arrow. He would probably be better using one of the other uh, the other class items to give him more mana or something like that. But good game. That was pretty solid. All right. So now we have the... Um, now we got the Book of Light. So we can use that. We did take an L there, which is a little unfortunate. But now we have the Book of Light, which will help us a lot. We can get that healing. Um... And I, well, no, let's put that there. I was going to say we should probably combine both of those, but I think we should probably have one of those on the Fortuna's Grace so we can get that mount of regeneration a little bit better. We did get ourselves another flute, which I do love my flutes. And we got a stamina pack, which is on sale. We should definitely be more than likely. We should definitely buy that. Can I arrange this a little bit better? Yeah, that, that'll work. Do that. Um, and uh, you know, what? let's just let's just put this here. It doesn't hurt that much, right? We do have two gold, though. We could sell this for a stamina pack, which I think is smart. We could put that there. Um, and then we could use a stamina pack for the flute later down the line, which I think will be great. Which I think would be great. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay. Okay, this guy's build is a little bit interesting. So, oh, they got acorn collars. That's the only thing I'm lacking right now is acorn collars. So they're definitely going to be getting their crit up a lot faster than we do. But we do have our Fortuna's Great Twist uh, attacks two times uh, whenever we crit, which would be good. He's got the Hero Longsword, which is uh, buffing the Ripshaw Blade of his. This is a pretty close battle so far. Um, he's also got gems just like we do. Yeah, this is a pretty... Our builds, our like DPS version of our builds are pretty much almost the same, except we lost he had wait oh he had the uh he had the mana orb he had way more mana generation than we did and that's why his invulnerability cast it ours is still at three uh because of that um and then was his crit chance 100 crit chance ours was 75 so he crit way faster than we could because of the acorn call we gotta get ourselves some acorn callers if you want to continue to win bro we need to get ourselves some acorn callers let's put that there just because it's a no-brainer and we'll buy this um we'll buy this space as well let's sell the poison because i don't really care about poison we need acorn callers like that that i feel like that would help us out with our build a lot um, or if we can get something to increase our mana generation a little bit more to utilize the book of light a little bit better would also help. We could get this. We should probably get that more than, yeah, we just should definitely get that. Um, that'll be next round. Let's see. And then we could turn that into a vampirism gloves. We could also maybe even separate the two kind of like that and then put that just so they can both benefit from the 20% faster, even though this one is losing out on what, like. What is that? One, two, three, four versus. What was that? Eight? Nine? Wait. Yeah, nine. So, excuse me. Instead of nine, it's four. Um, which is, this is pretty much just two slots of that. So maybe it's not worth it. Even if, yeah. Let's just keep it like it was. Just because I feel like it'll be faster like this versus like that, even with this on there. And then we could just put that like so. I think it'll be a little bit better. It is a little bit better. And if we could go ahead and start it. 
Man, we can't lose this one, though. We cannot lose this one. We're winning this one, okay? We, we need acorn collars as soon as possible, but we're winning this one. So this guy's got the fencing rapier, the hero longsword with the hungry blade. Um, his biggest DPS right now seems to be this guy, which it uses a bunch of the luck that he gained from the um, from the blueberries to increase his damage by a shit ton, which we're feeling that damage. We're feeling it so much right now. We're feeling it. Oh my gosh. But I mean, we're coming back though. We're coming back though. Come on. Let me get one more crit in there. One more crit. Something, something trigger. Again, there we go. There we go. That is dangerous. Did you guys see that? 26 to 32 damage instantly because it uses three of the uh three of the luck um to gain that two damage. And he's getting hell luck because of the blueberry combination with the leaf. That is a lot of luck. That is a lot of luck. But unfortunately, he's not gonna be able to crit because his crit chance is only 20%. Um, but I mean, if he had just a bunch of hero callers, it wouldn't even matter at that point. Oh, that was a good build though. Good game though. Um, let's buy this and buy that. I need hero call. I do want to get that purse, but I need, I need the callers. We did get an upgraded version of this guy, which is, which is pretty interesting. We should definitely buy this. Hopefully we can get the callers next round. We can combine both of those. Um, and then we'll put this on our bow. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the plan. What is this? Gain five. Um... Nah, let's, let's just keep it right there. And then we can also turn this into a vampiric gloves, which would be really good for us. Getting that more vampirism, helping us out with our survivability. And we're going against thorns. We're going against the thorns build plus crit. Well, no, he doesn't have blueberries, so he's not gaining uh, any luck from this. He's not gaining any luck at all, so he's not going to be critting. The only thing we got to worry about is the thorns, but we got the ripshaw blade, which removes thorns, which pretty much removes damage from this guy so we're gonna win this because we're pretty much just destroying his dps that he has as you can see he's doing 12 damage to us but i mean it's a pretty solid build if you weren't going against a ripshaw blade that's that's your kryptonite all of the thorns you're gaining look at all of the spikes all of the thorns he's get from triple pineapple double freaking shield this guy turning his regeneration that he's gaining from the health potions and no the ripshaw blade doesn't care and it just destroys all of that that was pretty much a free win nice little w we got ourselves the fan prayer gloves we could put that guy there we can lock that guy we could sell you and we could get ourselves a corrupted crystal which is a little bit interesting i think we do put that guy right there um and this can't really fit anywhere except up here i don't really need space like that though what i really need oh my god we need a we got another blood amulet if i could get me another vampiric gloves i there's no reason why i shouldn't use it you know what i mean there's no reason um i feel like i should buy this yeah let's buy it let's just buy it let's just buy it oh yeah oh my god yeah reserve both of those i know i know i said we need the acorn collar and i'm not rolling for the acorn collar but we see good items you have to buy good items you know what i mean that's just the way that it go oh my god that's gonna be a lot of vampirism when he gets done with that guy holy crap holy crap okay okay pretty interesting he's gating up on that vampirism doing crits to us as well 50 percent crit chance though uh <clears throat> oh oh we, we might actually lose this one holy crap what a build this guy has yeah we lost that one hold up i want to check some things out that was a 0.90 cooldown uh he attacked every second 22 to 26 damage because of the vampirism that he has man Bloodthorn is insane. You see, the thing is, he wasn't turning... Um, well, he was turning regeneration into um, vampirism, which is why we won that last battle, because that guy was turning regeneration into vampirism. However, this guy already just had the vampirism because he's gaining six vampirism from the vampiric gloves. He's also gaining two from both of those. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. That came from ten. The other three probably came from when he was um, turning the regeneration because he has six regeneration. So he lost out on three to vampirism because of we took it out with our ripshaw blade. But um, yeah, that's pretty much why he has so much vampirism and why this guy did so much more damage when you can just have vampirism without turning it into vampirism from uh regeneration beforehand which is pretty damn nice um and then lucky clovers probably just came from the falcon blade attacking um with the uh, with the blood thorn plus all the food that he has as well and then this guy you gain one vampirism every hit um up to four so that's probably why you gain more vampirism so yeah pretty interesting build i've never tried a build like that before where you don't really rely on healing herbs you just rely on just getting vampirism just in general 
Pretty damn nice though. I like it. Good game. Good game. Good game. Um, let's go ahead and do we really even need this? I mean, it's 25% faster. It's just a 5% speed increase for eight gold, a 5% speed increase for eight gold. I don't know if we need the only reason I would even consider it is this, um, this guy to 2% faster per, per heat, which is a little bit interesting, but uh, for eight gold, I don't think it's worth. I think I should probably just even getting that and combining it. I don't think it's worth for four gold. We could get the fanny pack though, just to make something faster in our build so let's get that and try to get acorn collar because that's uh that's realistically what we need right now is acorn collar i don't think we're getting acorn collar it's not looking like it let's buy that ah. the only thing i want right now is acorn i don't care about anything else i'm going to roll again i don't care if it's two gold okay finally we got an acorn collar we could put that there we could put this in a lot of spaces honestly um, I think it's better to put it here just so our blood goober has a chance of critting as well. Uh, which happens, surprisingly. Blood goober can crit. We could do that. Um, and we can also make this guy a little bit faster by doing a little bit something like that. Put the carrot there just because. And then we could just put our fanny packs wherever we want, pretty much. Like that would work perfectly fine. Um... And yeah, I think this is solid for the most part. I think that's I think that's solid. Let's uh let's go for it. Oh, that's a lot of crit. Wow, that is a uh, you don't even need that many acorn collars to crit like that, my friend. You got what three, four, five, six, seven off the back. Plus, yeah, you don't even need that much to crit. What's our crit chance right now? 45. So we got a little bit to build up. This one's at 90, 100. So we're pretty much equal to this guy, even though he has way more clovers and way more acorn collars than we do. Only thing we will realistically have to maybe even consider worrying about here would be his Degen limps, giving that 27 damage, but he's not gaining any mana. He's not gaining any thorns. Even if he was, our Ripshaw Blade would be destroying it. So yeah, that was... That was an easy W, I think. Good game. Easy little W. Oh, we did get ourselves. This is our first one we've seen. We could put it. Yes, right here it would be so perfect. It hits everything that's important. Yeah, it hits everything that's like that right there is so so nice. Um, thirty percent. Um, we gotta survive one more round. So whatever we do here, we just gotta keep that in mind. We need to buy an item that's important, but not like. You know, like this isn't like make or break important right here, right? I'd say the only thing we need to buy is something that increases our mana regeneration in order to use the Book of Light even one time because that thing hasn't triggered at all. At all. So I feel like the only. Oh, oh, there we go. This is exactly what we would need too. Now the question is where are we putting it? Hmm. So let's see. This attacks every three. Maybe I, I'd say maybe where the ripshot blade is. I feel like the ripshot blade probably uh, like everything here. I think the ripshot blade probably attacks the most out of everything, even with the speed increases that everything's getting. So I think probably here or yeah, right here would probably be best just because you get the book of life for 2.5. You get this for 1.7. Um, this is increasing its speed by 20% faster here. 20% because of the fanny packs. 40% because of the... Yeah. We're, we're definitely going to be able to do, to generate some mana pretty damn quickly. Um, because of that. And we could also probably get another fanny pack. Or we could get that. Just because of thorns. Maybe. Just for the sake of thorns. If we did get this. I mean we could maybe make this a little bit faster. 10% faster isn't a lot. But it helps I guess. Even in the slightest. Right. And then let's rock that. We should win this last one unless we go against something in oh, on the healing build. Now, this build is insane. He's got double blo uh, blood goobies, double blood goobies. He's got the unhealing staff. He's got blueberries to feed the unhealing staff. He's going to be unhealing like crazy. There goes his book of light. I'm happy that triggered early, though, instead of later, like ours is probably going to trigger right now. Um, but he's got so much healing. I don't know if we're going to be able to, to out DPS his healing. 
Like, look at his healing. Look at his health. You see how it just goes up, right? Even if we're doing our critical damage, you see how his health just keeps going up. And every time he's healing, he's dealing damage to us. So the only we're going back and forth mainly because of the Book of Light healing, our vampirism healing, our blood goober giving us a little bit more health. And that's why we're going back and forth. He's unhealing is doing damage to us and our vampirism ways are doing are, are healing us and keeping us afloat in this battle. This is so close. I think we take it here, though, just because of crit, though. I'm, I'm glad we take it there, because fuck unhealing. Freaking. I don't like you guys, but uh, that was a good game, though. Pretty, pretty interesting build that he had. Double blood goobert. He had the vampiric gloves. Um, unhealing staff, of course, with the Book of Light. He had the Manthers getting fed by the mana, doing that uh, lifesteal, which helps with unhealing. Man, this was a pretty solid build, but ours was just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. That was a good game. And that got us into diamond, I believe. Boom! Give me there. Boom! Now we just gotta stay there, which is fucking hard. So hard. Nice little W. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. We gotta try that again. I kind of want to try um that little mana situation that people are, are trying with the uh the mana the I don't know how to say the word the leaf the fucking class item leaf. The leaf that gives you the mana with the regeneration, combining that with the blueberries that give you the crit, and then combining that with carrots. Like, the build seems pretty damn interesting. And then you combine that with Bloodthorn because you're getting regeneration, and then your regeneration can just be turned into vampirism, which increases the damage of the Bloodthorn. The only thing you have to worry about would be the Ripshaw Blade, which destroys your regeneration, so then your Bloodthorn can't do as much damage, which pretty much is your Kryptonite. You know what I mean? Um, but still, I feel like it could be a pretty solid build. If if I can, if I get it, like if by the time the items come in, the class items come in, and we have a Blood Goobit or something like that, I'll try it, but. 